Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have another hair video, y'all. <laughs> this was a very pleasant surprise. I pulled this wig out the box and I was like, mm-mm. And now I'm like, you know, we don't normally do a center part, but I'm kind of feeling this messy, I don't know, it's like sexy, sleepy head kind of vibes going on, and I think... This is actually pretty cute. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do hair videos. I do a lot of makeup, lots of hauls. Your girl loves to shop. We do some fitness, tutorials, reviews. Everything related to beauty is on this channel. I know you're probably wondering, did I glue it down? How did I get it to look so realistic? If you want to see the details of this wig and how I installed it, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I'm excited because we have another wig video today and this one is from the brand I Like Hair. This is their packaging. You know I've worked with them before and I feel like they have some really good, affordable, realistic looking wigs. The one that we are showing today, this is more of a everyday, easy to put on, you throw on and go kind of unit and she is super cute. It is a 10 inch bob and it is with their kinky edges. I think this brand was one of the first brands that I did a kinky edge wig with, and I absolutely loved it. This one has the pre-cut lace. So this is the unit right here. Short, kind of has that wavy pattern. This is what it looks like straight out of the box. And of course, y'all know I like to show you exactly what it looks like from the box to my head. So we're not going to do anything to it. It is a center part. This is also a, it says five by five, but I'm kind of wondering, I don't know about that. I don't feel like this is quite five inches across. The knots are not pre-bleached. I feel like some of the other ones I've gotten are. It does come with your combs on the side here. And then you do have a comb in the back. You have your elastic band that you can take out if you want to, but Keep it in if you're wearing her glue list. And then you have your adjustable straps here in the back. So cap construction looks pretty standard. I'm going to have to put some powder in the part to hide the knots because I'm not bleaching it. But we're going to see if we can just make her a throw on and go because y'all know that's how I love to wear my wigs. So in the pack, you also get your two wig caps. And I think these are the... Standard wig caps, not those super transparent ones. You also get a rat tail comb, which can never have enough of those. And then you get this bag that also has some clips. Also has your little band that you can tie down and melt your lace with. Baby hair brush. And then the clips, like I said earlier. So I always keep all this stuff because I use them, I lose them. You also get this cute little barrette here, but we, I don't wear those. So we're just going to put that off to the side. So I'm going to put my hair up like I normally do. And then we're going to get started with this install. But like I said, I want to do glueless. So this should be pretty quick and easy. So we're going to go ahead and put this on right now, straight out the box to see how it looks if you don't do any customization to it. It is 180% density. I'm just putting the adjustable band in right now. And it does say it's the top Swiss lace, kinky edges, all that good stuff. So let's tighten this band a little bit and see. It does say the cap size is 22 and a half inches. Am I too tall? Yes, I am. First of all, we're going to minimize this forehead. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I like the style of this, but we got to flatten this down. I feel like I'm going to have to apply some heat here at the top just to get that. Mm, okay, this is a little better than I thought. 
I do like that the lace is pre-cut and being that I haven't put any powder on it, this is actually not that bad. I could tell you right now, I would switch this to a side part because that's just my preference. But for the sake of this video, they want to show it as an everyday center part. So that is what we are doing. So this is straight out the box. This side needs to be curled a little bit. But if you like this kinky, not kinky, but it's more the crimped look. That's the word I'm looking for. If you like this style, I think this would be a good wig. Like I said, I haven't put anything on it. You can see the hairline there with the kinky edges. But I'm going to get my hat comb. I'm going to try to flatten this out a little more and then see if we can make this side look a little more like this side. And that will be it. But as far as just, can you wear this straight out the pack? Yeah, you can. I'm going to put some powder in this part to make it look a little wider and we will be good to go. Alright, so this is the hair straight out the box. You can tell defining the part helped a lot in terms of making it look real more realistic. I do still feel like bleaching the knots would help even more, but there are some parts that I feel like, like back here, need a little more styling to it. And that's just from how it settles in the box, you know, but overall, this is a style that I don't know that I would have tried on my own. But seeing the finished product, I'm like, you know, this is actually not bad. I kind of like it. I'm not a big center part girl. Y'all know that. So I would love to see what this looks like if I would do it to the side. But, you know, this is how the hair was styled. This is how they wanted me to show it. So here we are. So comment below. Let me know what you think about this look. Is this a style you would wear? What do you think about the hair? I think that the hairline, this is what I love the most about this brand's hairlines when they do their kinky edges because it makes it look realistic and you don't have to stress about trying to blend it as much. But 180% density I think is amazing for a wig. I feel like this back here probably needs to be curled. This is something I would do on my mannequin head, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of just like that messy, sexy kind of bedhead look, if you know what I mean. And I'm not mad at it. Pulling it out the box, I was like, mm, I don't know, but it's kind of growing on me. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Again, this is retailing right now on their website for $139. I will have a discount code for you below to save some money off of it if you want to try it. But if you're looking for just an everyday pretty effortless wig to wear. I think you will be pleasantly surprised with this one. 
So check the description box below. Let me know what you think. And that is it. Thank you so much. I like hair for sending me this wig. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you would wear it, if you'll pass, do you like a, maybe a longer length? I love hearing from you. And that is it for this video. Thanks for sticking with me to the end and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.